Hey hi everyone this is admin from admin365 and today we are going to talk about how an admin can access a user mailbox in office 365 without a password so let's get started before we start the topic a small introduction about me i currently work as microsoft 365 support ambassador for microsoft our day-to-day -day routine is to take care of service requests created around Microsoft 365 products and services. So please do consider subscribing for exclusive content and the resolutions for common issues with Office 365. And let's resume the topic. For us to be able to access a user mailbox within the same tenant where we are an admin, we just have to go to the office.com page. Once on the office.com page uh, and signed in with the admin account, we just have to click on the admin tile here and it will open the Microsoft 365 admin center. Once in here, we can go to users and active users and select the user whom we want to access the mailbox of. For example, uh, in this scenario, uh, I will try to access the mailbox of this user in here. So I will click on that user and as you can see this user has a license and as well as a mailbox to it for us to access. So I will click on the name here and it will open a window and I will go to mail tab in here. So once under the mail tab we just have to click on read and manage permission. This is the place when given permissions from will allow us to access the user mailbox so we will click on this read and manage permissions and we'll add the permission and we will add ourselves in here as an admin and add and now you can see the permissions has been added as read and manage and now after we give the permission for us to be able to access that mailbox we'll have to go back to office.com and in office.com we'll have to open the outlook do make sure that the admin account which you are using has a license assigned to it and has an outlook to it if we don't have an outlook to it we won't be able to access that particular mailbox so we will need an outlook license on the admin account so once you click on the outlook over here it will open this outlook and for us to be able to access that mailbox we just have to click on the initials on the top right in the circle or your profile picture if you have set it up and once you click on it it will open this window here uh, you just have to click on open another mailbox and once you click on it you just have to go ahead and type in the e email address of the mailbox which you have given permissions to or which you want to access right now and click open and once you do that it will open that mailbox which we had just given permission in this case it is an admin license uh, you will not see the admin license name in here because you are opening that mailbox as your account it has your name on the top right but everything in here is of the admin license mailbox and you can confirm the same on the top by checking the email address for the user which is not the email address of the account in here you can go ahead and check the user mailbox without bothering the user itself and uh, for example uh, if you click on view all outlook setting it will show you the setting of the user mailbox and not your mailbox so everything within this is for the user account which we have the permissions on to be able to view the mailbox everything in here is for that user mailbox you can do the changes which you need as an admin and that's it once done do make sure that you go back to the admin center and remove your permissions which you have added under mail tab the read and manage just select yourself and click on remove permission to lose the access what happens is if you give yourself permissions in here and uh, you open it and if you don't come back here and remove the permission it will map this account 
to your Outlook application. So the next day when you come to the shift, you will see the admin license. For example, in my case, I will see admin license mailbox attached to my Outlook desktop application or on the Mac as well. So uh, as soon as you have resolved the issue on the user mailbox, you can go ahead and remove the permissions. So there you go guys if you have any question you can let me know in the comment section and you have a nice day.